Hey guys, Pete here from Netbook News. Today I'm going to show you the Dell Streak with Android 2.2. Uh, this is not the official version from Dell that's been rolled out now in various countries. It's a build from someone called DJ Steve on the uh, XDA forums. Uh, being new to Android, I wasn't quite sure where where to start in updating to 2.2, but someone's uh, provided a a guide um, to uh, which explains all the terms and uh, the software, the whole procedure. So if you don't know where to start, that's a really good guide. I will link that below in the description box, or you can read it over at Netbook News. I will post it there as well. But anyway, back to Android 2.2. Coming over from 2.1, the uh, um, improvements were substantial, especially in terms of uh, speed and stability. On 2.1 I could uh, crash the OS a lot multiple times per day even. There were some settings that didn't quite work as well with the keyboard. I think I couldn't turn um, haptics off or on or maybe it was the sound that I couldn't turn off and on but anyway some settings weren't working on 2.1. So 2.1 the speed it's got hardware acceleration now so you all the flicking and uh, whatever, all the effects are now smooth. That also affects the keyboard, so the keyboard's much smoother now. No slowdowns, no out of syncing with the uh, sound, so very smooth. That also affects the slide here, it's been very smooth. So smooth overall, that goes with web browsing as well. definitely smooth there. And uh, another update, not really specific to Android 2.2 but for the Dell Streak we've got so let's get it, go back to the video cam here, so we've got 720p enabled now so if you have a look on the uh, bottom here, out of the box it's on custom so that is 720p video, 1280 by 720 resolution We've also got Flash, so let's just head over to YouTube here. It's not installed out of the box with this DJ Steve edition. You've got to install it from the market. What happened there? Okay, so they, well, there we go. Flash. I haven't tested out uh, whether it accepts 720p or 1080p, but uh, I can leave that for another time. Anyway, so Flash is there. We've got um, several launchers here. This is the ADW launcher here. There's also a couple of, couple of uh, other ones that are preloaded, so let's just take a look at those. Got to find my launcher switcher somewhere here. So here we go. Okay, so there's a Dell Stage as well and the Launcher Pro. I haven't tried the last one there, but we'll take a look at Dell's Stage UI, which should come preloaded with the official version of 2.2. It won't look exactly the same as this, but uh, as we've seen in the gadget video, there's also one available in Japan. But the idea is the same. You've got these uh, categories here: home, contacts, email. We can uh, switch that over and get uh, a little more real estate there. So I guess it's okay. Um, I don't. I'm not really uh, fond of that design myself so I'm sticking with the ADW launcher here and uh, some other improvements is on the uh, uh, what do you call it, the uh, dialer here so 
So I um, can't quite remember what the one on 2.1 looked like, but um, but it looks good here. We've got a call log, contacts, favorites. So I've already made phone calls with this, and it works quite well. I've got my SIM card working here with SoftBank, and there's a 3G connection there. And uh, some other things. Uh, that's it in terms of what's new. I think. Wait, there might be a couple of other things with Android 2.2. If we go to the settings here, wireless. If we take a look at the, we've got tethering and portable hotspot here. So that's new with 2.2. And uh, we've also got in the gallery, I think we've got pinch to zoom, so we can open this up and look through the pictures there. So that's good. In terms of what didn't work, there's a GPS, that didn't work for me. So let's just click here to zoom in on our location okay so that did not work I've also seen a couple of other people report the same issue with GPS I've also seen a couple of people report problems with the uh, front facing webcam I haven't tested that out myself since I uh, can't get Skype loaded onto this for some reason. It's not in the market and I can't download it from Skype's website for some reason. But anyway, um, those are the only two things. Oh, wait, there's Wi Fi as well. Wi Fi wasn't uh, working as well as, as I expected. It seems a bit slow on one occasion. It didn't seem to connect at all and I had to manually connect. So Wi-Fi seems a bit uh, suspect there. Um, that's all in terms of what I didn't find working. There's also this uh, not notification bar up here which is different from the, uh, the one Dell provides. So you get a click here and track that down to get all the notifications. So that's pretty much it in terms of uh, what's new with Android 2.2 overall much smoother experience the keyboard's better as well much better there's some a lot more settings the language options you can have uh, multiple languages with the keyboard there so really looking good um, can't wait to spend some more time with Android 2.2 and the Dell Street anyway thanks for watching Peter here from Netbook News